Well, here's our little pile of rags. They've been taking their afternoon nap. We have one missing, looks like. He's back there. First off, I would like to thank you very much for trusting House of Steward Ragdolls to consider purchasing a ragdoll kitten from. Uh, we love what we do. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. They have been so much fun to watch, and I trust that you have been watching the videos that we post on our Facebook page every day, so you get an idea of a little bit about the personality and the health and size of the kittens. They're all very healthy. We had a little round of diarrhea, which usually happens when they start eating solid food. <clears throat> um, I don't think we have ever escaped that. We always have at least a couple in every litter that has a little bit of a tummy problem when they start eating the solid food. And let's see, which one shall we start with? I think they're all tired. I'm interrupting their nap. Let's get Mr. Red out here. Come here, sweetie. Oh, I know, I'm interrupting everything, aren't I? Yes. This is our only boy, and he is a flame. We can't have flame girls unless we would get a flame male and mate with one of our torties. Our flames are usually very large cats. I think the largest one we've had has been about 27 pounds. And they are gentle and loving, very socialized kittens. The reds or the flames Look up here. No, oh, look up. Yes, so they can see you. Very, very low key. Or at least that's been the experience that we've had with other flames. Yeah, he's going to crawl on there too, it looks like. He weighs about a pound and a half. He's about a quarter of a pound larger than the girls, which he kind of needs that extra. Hello. <clears throat> I always joke about the torties having tortitudes, which they have the tendency to be a little bit more independent, but they are also loving and sweet. A lot of times they're a little bit more vocal. So this is our Mr. Red. And shall we go to you? And turn around here and let me see you. Make sure I got the right one here. I'm going to have to put the bigger collars on them. Yeah, this is Miss Yellow. <clears throat> she has the dark colors on the edges of her ears. She's definitely a pointed cat. I believe she is a seal. And I think she's going to be mitted. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but both Sassy and Prada have been mitted cats. Uh, but they have one leg that is colored and the other leg isn't. That's the thing with the tortie. Their colors pop up 
in different places. Yes, you're a sweetie. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are. Yes, I know. They have pretty blue eyes. They all have pretty blue eyes. So this is Miss Yellow. And let's see. How about Miss Blue? Lazy Miss Blue. Mm-hmm. Get out here so we can see you. She is a seal. Her ears are dark. She's got the tip on the one. <laughs> You're going to be silly, aren't you? Yeah. And she is definitely emitted. She's got mitts on both of her legs. And you can see the boots. And she's got a fat tummy. Yes, you do. They are so fun at this age. Mm-hmm. Then their little nails are like, they're sharper than needles. I try and get them trimmed, but they sharpen up really fast. Okay, this is Miss Orange, and she is a seal. Come on out here. Oh, goodness. And she's rather unique. She's uh, got the one dark ear and just a little bit of color on the bottom of her ear, but her tail is so unique. She's got a dark tip, and then she's got a circle that goes all the way around, and then with the orange, oranges mixed in. It's hard to tell at this age exactly what their markings will be like. Uh, Ragdolls don't get their full color until they're about two, and they don't get their full weight between three and four years old. So they're kind of, I would say, a little more slowly maturing than some of the other breeds. Mm-hmm. You're going to chew my pants, aren't you? This is Miss Orange, and let's see, we got one sleeping over here. Oh, she's not going to be happy, and I'm waking her up. This is Miss Green, and she was the one that was so vocal when she was younger. Look up here. I know you want to sleep. <laughs> she said, don't bother me. Just don't bother me. There is a possibility that she is a bicolor. Like I said, their color develops so slowly, especially when they're Torties, that and sometimes it's with the tortie, it's really hard to tell. Now, with the others, the pointed ones have color on their nose, and a bicolor has a pink nose. But markings on a tortie is it's different. Sometimes I think I can see a little bit of orange around her right in through here, so she may not be. I thought maybe this one was going to be a bicolor, but she's got mitts. Oh, let go. Let go.
this one and this is Miss Orange she has a strong possibility of being a bicolor you can almost see the inverted V starting to form that comes up between her eyes so this is our group and if you have any questions want more videos or pictures just let me know and I will get those to you I don't think you could go wrong with a choice on any of them they're all very similar in personality and the most important thing they're all healthy and playful so thank you so much and I will let you go and we will continue from here thank you